In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a veggie tomato soup in the slow cooker. So you don't have to do anything, no sauteing, nothing. You don't have to wait for it. It's gonna be ready to go. And it's got tons of veggies. I'm gonna start by coarsely chopping some zucchini. And I just want so a couple of like big pieces. We are going to blend this soup and make it smooth. So if you have picky eaters, they are not gonna notice that it's full of veggies. As I cook and chop, we're gonna throw everything in our slow cooker. So let's just toss in our zucchini in here. From fajita night, I had some red pepper, so I'm gonna add the red pepper as well. I also have some chopped onions and carrots that I'm added in the slow cooker. Now, if you just wanted to throw them in in a few big pieces, that's fine too. Save yourself some chopping. Why? Because you're gonna blend it all up and it's nice and smooth. I am gonna add some celery to the soup. A couple garlic cloves go in here as well as some tomato paste. I do love using tomato paste in my tomato sauce and my soups because it adds a lot of flavor with a small amount. I have two cans of crushed tomatoes. You can use crushed tomatoes or tomato puree in your soup. This is actually tomato puree. And this is the base for our soup. And then of course, I'm also going to add a little bit of olive oil so it gives some depth to the soup and our veggies. And last but not least, I'm also adding about two cups of stock. I'm using vegetable stock, but if you don't have any vegetable stock, you can also use water. You just wanna add a more liquid so our recipe can cook in the slow cooker for a few hours. And with a spoon or a ladle, you're going to mix all of our veggies in like this. We're gonna put the lid on our slow cooker and cook this veggie tomato soup for about six hours on low. This is also a great recipe to make overnight so you can pack it in a warm thermos for school lunch or meal prepped in the freezer for other future meals. Let me show you how when we come back. All right guys, so our soup has been cooking for about six hours on low. And let me show you what it looks like, how all these veggies have cooked through. Our zucchinis, our carrots, they're fully cooked. They're, they've softened tomato sauce or crushed tomatoes, whatever you used, is now cooked as well. And now there are two ways to make your uh, veggie tomato soup smooth. The first one is if you have an immersion blender, you would then take your immersion blender and now directly inside of the bowl of your slow cooker, you would just immerse it therefore immersion blender, and blend it until smooth. Now, if you don't have an immersion blender, you can just use your ladle and in your traditional blender, ladle your soup into your blender jar. Now, obviously we have more soup than fits in our blender, so we're gonna just blend this in a couple of batches. And you can pour it directly from your blender into a bowl. Now this veggie tomato soup is the perfect soup to serve with my grilled cheese dippers. I'm gonna link to those below this video. They're toasty pieces of grilled cheese, sliced to perfection and dipped in this veggie tomato sauce. Now remember the ingredients for this soup are right below the video and if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button so you and I get to cook together a few times a week. See you next time.